of immigration is working on a policy change meant to eliminate vetting of northeastern residents applying for identification documents in a roundtable meeting with MPs from the Northern Frontier. Immigration PS Professor Julius Bitok said the government has started the process of doing away with the age-old vetting process, which is discriminatory in nature. The chairman of the Presidential Council of Economic Advisers, David Ndee, termed the vetting process counterproductive saying it is a form of marginalization. Pastoralists or people who live in the north um, have this tag of saying that people believe vetting is specifically for them. And there is this notion that says we do things but it should not compromise national security. But who said other Kenyans can't compromise national security? These identity documents that we are here to talk about are a fundamental right. They are an obligation of the citizen of the states to citizens. Yeah. They are not a privilege. They are, it's an obligation to every citizen. Therefore, non discrimination and equality in the way they are obtained is something that the state must be seen uh, to, to do. Because the process by which we have uh, put in place uh, in the issue of this document, the, the vetting, in the, in the sort of guise or sort of thing that we are addressing security, is in fact counterproductive because it is part of the marginalization which then reinforces radicalization. We want our people just like the rest of Kenyans, to be able to get birth certificate and ID cards without going through so many hurdles, without being discriminated against, without being stopped uh, in roadblocks, or just on the street, to be asked those <laughs> basic documents, and they are not available. Not that they don't want to carry it, but just because somebody somewhere was denying them those fundamental documents. We are on this to ensure that we get a lasting solution to this problem.